हेलो व्यूवर्स इन दिस सेशन वील गोन टू बी स्टार्ट विथ ए न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज असेसमेंट ऑफ फॉर्म इन लास्ट क्लासेस एंड ऑल इन लास्ट सेशन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस ए इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोविजन विथ रिगार्ड्स टू असेसमेंट ऑफ कंपनी एंड ऑल्सो वी सॉल्व दी सम काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन असेसमेंट ऑफ कंपनी इन सिंपल वर्ड्स आई कैन स्पेल इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द असेसमेंट ऑफ कंपनी चैप्टर गाइज ओके वट एवर दी ट्रांजेक्शन वट एवर दी प्रोविजन वी ट्रीटेड देर असेसमेंट ऑफ कंपनी सेम प्रोविजन विल गोन टू बी कंटिन्यू कंटिन्यूंग इयर ओनली बट ओनली स्लाइडली सम चेंजेस विल बी देर दट चेंजेस विल गोन टू बी लर्न दिस टूडे ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल असेसमेंट ऑफ फॉर्म सो बिफोर गोइंग टू दी असेसमेंट ऑफ फॉर्म हैज वी नो दट द पर्सन अंडर सेक्शन टू सेक्शन थर्टी वन विच विल गोन टू बी defines seven category of persons is there because in income tax is tax is a compulsory payment made by each and every citizen of a country so as an individual so he has to be pay the tax to the government so who and all is eligible to pay the tax to the government is specifically mentioned under section 2 section 31 of the income tax act 1961 elir takantadu so what all are that person an individual individual is nothing but me and uh, some kind of normal individual persons and all you all people are considered as an individual if you are earning the income if your income is exceeding the uh, above exceeding the exemption exempted limit as per the financial act you are eligible to pay the tax to the government okay so like uh, you have five eights of income is there income from salary hp capital gain business and profession capital gain out of this all five eights of income if you are earning the income if such income if it is exceeding the exempted limit you are eligible to pay the tax under the income from individual point of view next one is hindu undivided family hindu undivided family is nothing but when two or more more persons coming together to uh, start a new business the head of that family is called as an that means your family members only they will going to be joined together to start the business so here head of the family is called as a karta so such kind of company is also if they are earning the uh, profit they are also eligible to come uh, pay the tax to the uh, government under the person category okay so next one is uh, company so we already discussed the company so company is nothing but uh, any kind of the companies which is registered under the indian companies act of 1956 amendment 2013 like uh, tata company bata company infosys company wipro company all such kind of companies are if they are earning the profit or gain they are eligible to pay the tax to the government under uh, as per normal provision as per mat provision also we'll going to be we already discussed this chapter in detail so today we'll going to be discuss the firm category what, what do you mean by in firm so firm is nothing but simply it says that it is a partnership firm so we will going to be discuss uh, uh, in few minutes later okay next one is association of person or body of individual that means it two or more persons coming together uh, with a common goal or with a common objective such kind of business are called as association of person like a and b or association or cricket board of india so this board has also come under the uh, income tax point of view they are also eligible to pay the tax to the government next one is a local authority so local authority is nothing but uh, Uh, so any kind of municipalities panchayat uh, so they are also eligible to pay the tax to the government so and last one is artificial judicial person so in income tax even we are not leaving the god also even god also need to pay the tax on the under the income tax so any kind of uh, uh, god deity um, idol or uh, any kind of uh, uh, institutions which is come under the act uh, through an act uh, that all are come under the artificial judicial persons so these are the persons we are eligible to pay the tax to the government so today uh, so uh, in income tax we already learn the uh, income tax 1 and 2 as a individual point of view and company we already discuss under the business taxation under unit number 2 in income tax in assessment of firm will going to be learned today and association of person body of individual or local authority it is not much more important so in coming in coming classes are, are uh, your higher post graduation uh, you you are going to be learn all these concepts okay so today we will going to be concentrate mainly on the form okay so let's start the sessions so partnership form so here the partnership two words is there what do you mean by partner what is your firm so under the income tax point of view the partnership may be an either it is an Uh, registered company registered firm or unregistered firm will not going to be discriminate it is not a mandatory for every partnership firm need to be registered and pay such kind of company only need to pay, pay the tax to the government no it is an optional to them so whether they can either they may uh, registered themselves either they can uh, not registered themselves so this is called as a partnership so in income tax there is no separate definition is not provided under income tax but whatever the definition which is mentioned under uh, section 4 of the partnership act 1934 same definition will going to be applicable for the income tax also so then what is the definition which is mentioned under section 4 of the income tax 1960 uh, 19 uh, 1932 is nothing but 
so the partnership is a relationship between uh, uh, relationship between persons who have agreed to share the profits of the business carried by all or any one of them acting for all what it means that means when two or more persons coming together to start a business and sharing the profits of the business according to their contribution that is called as an uh, the partnership that means so the partnership is a when, uh, when two or more person it is a relationship between persons who have agreed to share the profits of the business agreed to share the profits of the business is nothing but according to partnership deed according to partnership agreement through an contract they will come to come together to start a firm so based on that if they are earning the profit they have to be share the profits according to their agreed proportion uh, proportion whatever they remain and the, such kind of the business has to be carried by uh, all or any one of them acting for all that means uh, whatever the partners is there along with together they can uh, uh, run the uh, run the firm or else anyone take an initiative to run the the firm so mainly the partnership firm is mainly established for the purpose of to earning the profit so this is a meaning of partnership so understood right so partnership is nothing but when two or more persons coming together to start a business and sharing the profits of the business carried by all or any one of them acting for all andre eradu athwa eradakkinta hechu janagalu onde ta onde kade seri common purpose koskara ittkondu ondu business anna start maadi aa business inda yenadru profit anna earn maadidre anta profit anna according to their agreement prakara proportionate agi distribute maaduvanta ondu firm anna now partnership firm anta karita hogtivi next who is a partner the partner is an uh, is a person one who is entering into one who is entering into the partnership firm according to the partnership agreement such persons are collectively called as an partners okay so next one is so whatever the uh, that partnership we are running we are collectively such such kind of persons or the partners are agreed to form the partnership firm are collectively called as a firm here okay so this is a meaning of partnership firm so partnership firm is nothing but when two or more persons coming together to start the business agree to share the profits of the business carried by all or any one of them acting for all such partnership if any individual is a such persons are called as an partners if partners are coming to together to form a uh, partnership uh, partnership that partnership is uh, collectively or aggregatively called as an firm so this is called as a partnership firm so this is with regards to an meaning of an partnership firm in next sessions we'll going to be see what are the main characteristics of a partnership firm okay thank you have a nice day